Simple, guys, you don't know simple until you've been to Plymouth State. Watched us, worked with us, etc. Okay, now Nat, I listen to Nat Clark talk, they do a great job. Uh, you know, Nat, Nat made the preface to this talk by saying, he's not real smart, and they keep it simple. Well, not only am I not real smart, I'm really freaking dumb. Okay, so you can imagine how simple we are. All right. Um, and again, I am not high tech. Uh, if it was up to me, we'd still be using VHS. Okay, uh, and I got, I, we got it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, and I certainly have no jargon, okay? Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, guys, it, 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 our, our, again, I've been, the, I've been the coach here for 21 years. <clears throat> we live by the philosophy that before you can win, you got to keep from losing. Now, seems simple. And when I tell guys that this year, every year, more and more, I get, what's he talking about? I'm a playmaker, I'm the man, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, no. Before we can win, we got to keep from losing. And that, that's what guides almost everything we do. And, and, I, and I repeatedly tell them, I, and I said, I'm not saying this in a negative way, guys, but it doesn't matter if it's Plymouth State, Penn State, the Patriots. More games are lost than won. So we're just trying to keep ourselves out of harm's way, which isn't easy to do. Okay? Um, and again, when we go by the KISS method, and when, when, when I say before we can win, we got to keep from losing, one of the things we do on O, that we should do it perfect place. We had a, a, a sequence this year, a day on offense. We started the ball on the 25 yard line. Every time we got it right, we move up five yards. So we needed five perfect plays. Well, half hour later, we were still going at it. On in. On in. And so, again, it, it's just that simple. That's, that's how big of a simpleton we are at, at Plymouth. Okay? Um, and for us guys, when it comes to not losing, before we can win, we got to keep from losing. Number one, protect the football. I, I'm sure you guys see the stat, they do it on, on the scoop, but in the last two years in college football, the team that has won the turnover battle has won 75% of the time. So, I'm no gambler or anything, but those are pretty good odds for me. I can do a little bit of math, okay? Um, and then, the next thing is, is penalties. Huge stickler on penalties. It's again, it's hard enough to score points without stopping yourself or backing yourself up. It's hard enough to stop the other guys. Do you already start? Yes. Guys, real quick, you want to go, Coach Gastonia from Plymouth State, my alma mater, uh, doing some great things over here with great friends. One of those, again, one of those Division three schools does a great job of recruiting the state of Maine. And he's a class act, and I get there. I, I wouldn't say this about a lot of guys, but my son was being recruited right now, and he had a chance to play for Coach Gastonia. I'd be honored, and that's just saying, uh, Coach, you're all set. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, thank you. We have other Plymouth State alums in the, uh, in the audience as well. Okay. Wow. But again, it, like I said, it's hard enough to score, ne never mind backing yourself up. It's hard enough to keep the other guys from scoring without helping them. And then when it comes to field position and special teams, it's, a, it's been a huge advantage for us over the years. And so don't commit the penalties on special teams. All right, so, and, and this is, um, well, when it's starting in the bottom right, this one goes backwards chronologically. But in these categories, guys, this is where we, there are 240, Division three schools in the country that play football, okay? This is where we've ranked in these categories of penalties and turnovers, going all the way back to 2007, okay? Now, this year here, okay, in, in, well, obviously we didn't play in 2020, but both in 2019 and 21, we were number one in the country. Fewest penalties per game, fewest penalty yards per game. Right. 
Now, this year here, we were number two in fewest penalty yards per game. So, again, we got some good players. We also got some guys that you look at and say, holy shit, really? Okay, so we need every advantage we can get. So, from a coaching standpoint, this is why, like I said, number one, protect the damn ball. Number two, don't back yourself up. Don't help the other guys down the field and into the end zone. And then create every advantage you can on special teams with field position. All right? So, uh, you know, it's something we work on. It's something we take pride in. And, and the, you know, the, the kids know. Now, there's a price to pay. If you commit a penalty, you know, there's a price to pay. And, and the, really, the big thing is, guys, during the week, if, 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 a, if a coach sees a penalty being committed, we'll, we'll call it up, okay, and make sure everybody knows. Because right? it won't just happen on Saturdays by <coughs> talking about it. It's going to be enforced, all right? And, and we have, uh, again, it's simple, but on Mondays, anybody that puts the ball on the ground, anybody that commits a penalty, or throws a turnover, is responsible for a turnover. We start during uh, the form run, we have what we call a fun club, okay? They're over with me. And it's, it's, it's nothing major. They, they'll, they'll, they're getting a three-point stand. Now, the skill guys hate it, because I mean, they get the three-point stands, they run 10 yards to me and do five push-ups. I back up 10, they come to me and do another. They, okay, and then, and then we'll come back. So we can do like 15 push-ups or 15 uh, jackknives. But meanwhile, the guys over there in full run are hooting and hollering at them, yelling, okay? So the last, thing you, last place you want to be on Monday at the start of practice is with me, okay? So it's, uh, you know, it's nothing major, but it's enough to stick in their head, okay? Um, now, the um, special teams. Okay, and, and the organization of our special teams, guys, okay? Uh, this is, again, from 22 back to 07. This is some of the statistically where we've ranked in the country in different special teams. And it, it's interesting to me as, you know, because, and I'm not big on stats, but at the end of the year, I am. Well, even during the seat week by week, Okay, because uh, you, you can't monitor what you don't measure. And, and I get it, stats are for losers. There's only one that matters at the end of the day on a Saturday. Okay. <coughs> but, you know, it, it, it's, it, it, you look back at this, and, and again, I'm a dinosaur, I've been doing it for uh, quite a while. But it's, it's kind of gone in cycles. The last two years, we were number eight in the country and kickoff return of the year before we were number 11. Then we had quite a string here of block punts and block kicks. Okay, years ranking those national ranks. Okay, and um, as you get kickoff cover defense, we've been up there. And it, for whatever reason, it goes in seems to go in cycles. Now, and we're always trying to get find a better way to skin a cat, even when we, if we have a decent year at something. Um, and, and part of this is. Now, we, we've sucked at blocking punts recently because people know and they spend time on it during the week. And, you know, so you, you're, now you battle a strength versus strength and people at one step in it and getting rid of it. So, um, and then, you know, not that we still don't work on it, but we gotta find other ways to create these advantages with field position and scoring opportunities. All right, so that's some of, you know, what we've done and what we've been good at at, at times, right? Um, now, okay, the next thing is is our special teams. And, and guys, I'm the head coach. I coach the O-line. I've coached big, almost everything over the years, okay? Offense, defense, special teams. And here's a, my, my a weekly special team schedule. My, my, my pet peeve on special teams, guys, is you install it during preseason, okay? And then you, 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 you 
position by position, etc. Whatever it is, you, you know, your guards, tackles, hands on pod, your your up backs, your your front five, front four on KOR, etc. Well, all the different positions get coached up when you install it in August. But, and I'm guilty of this over the years, okay, what happens as the year goes on quite often is once you get into the grind of the season and game planning on O and D, et cetera, some, if you're not careful, you can lose sight of the special team's fundamentals. And my thing is, hey, okay, you wouldn't expect an offensive lineman to be a good drive blocker if you don't work it numerous times per week and weekly. Well, guess what? When's the last time you went back and drilled the individual aspect, the fundamentals of your special teams, you know, midway through the season? Now, you know, a lot of times, and I, like I said, I was guilty of this for a few years. Hey, kickoff return time, line up, okay, go. This is how they, you know, you got your scout kickoff thing. But, they haven't, aside from getting that full group rep, they, they haven't gotten individual time at it. Why is that, to me, again, I'm a simple guy, but why is that any different than drilling a guy on offense or defense, you know? So, what we do is on, on Mondays, we do, uh, and this, and again, it goes fast, we'll have like a five minute period of kickoff, cover individual, drill set up, boom. Uh, we call them kamikazes, gunners, contain, whatever. And so we got different stations set up. Boom, rep it, rep it, rep it. And then most of all those same guys that are on kickoff are on kickoff return. So then our front four will be with uh, a coach, Coach Zeman work, working, they do individuals, the fundamentals. The middle five guys are with me and we work their fundamentals and the two returners are back there with another guy working their fundamentals okay so but we, we don't do full kickoff or kickoff return. it's just the individual part of it. we do half line punt now with the way we got our punt scheme lends itself to that but so we'll do half line punt which is basically individual time for the punt team we will do full punt okay now i'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm obsessive about punt protection because uh, there was a stat, now the pilots we were pretty good at punt block is, I came across a stat years ago. When you block a punt, you have a 90% chance on winning that game. Once again, I'm not a gambler, I've never been to Vegas, but those are pretty damn good odds to me. Okay, so we worked our ass off it. And on the flip side of it, I said, ooh, I don't want to, I don't want to be one of the 10%. So we work, we'll do punt every day, basically. Okay? and then we'll work PAT field goal. And that's usually half line, okay? So again, it's basically individual time, all right? Tuesdays, we'll do full, uh, complete kickoff return, half line punt and full punt. Wednesdays, complete kickoff versus, you know, the scout team, uh, kickoff team, PAT, full PAT for half punt and full punt. Now Thursdays, okay, is we do everything, okay, full. We don't have individual time on um, on Thursdays, but what's ha what happens now is on Thursdays all the special teams special situations get covered, all right. And by that I mean PAT field goal, okay, bam, it's blocked behind the line, it's blocked across the line. Somebody lost a game on that this year, is that right, in the NFL, right? I'm like, I'm watching this thing, really? I mean, okay. And then we cover, we, we, we rep it where we have to cover a long one when they got a returner back there. Now, if we had done that in August, and then got to November and hadn't worked on it, those guys would look at me like I got a dick thrown out of my forehead. You know, hey, we gotta cover this thing, you know, gotta, okay? So, uh, we, we, we'll, we'll do full kickoff. Onside kick, full kickoff return, hand speed, okay? Uh, complete punt, when we do punt on, again, it's blocked behind the line, it's blocked across the line. We will block, we'll do tight punt coming out of the end zone. Here's the other thing we'll wrap on every Thursday. Take a safety, we do it from our punt team, okay? 
For 20 years, we wrapped taking a safety from the on Thursdays, okay? Last year was the first time we used it, and we used it twice to end the game, okay? Almost, we had one second left on one, all right? Um, so, and, but you, and you wouldn't believe it. We got guys, uh, after that game, I got guys calling and texting previous players, coach, please tell me that safety was what I worked on every Thursday for four years, please. I said, yep, okay, I can't believe it. After all that, you finally used it. Yep, well, guess what? And you know what? God for the day. Maybe I'm there another 20 years. If we only use it one more time, well, we're good. But you got to have it ready because if it's not, then shame on you, all right? Um, okay. Then um, the uh, Fridays are basically the same as Thursday, but we, we do it on air, okay? Um, so that that's the special team schedule. Uh, and really, uh, when that stuff's going on, the D line's over with the D line coach. The, the O line's over. Well, I'm the O line coach, but the, the O line's over with another coach, basically doing a walkthrough. Okay, um, so that is um, how we work it on uh, during the course of the week. All right. Um, now the next thing is, I'm sure you guys got one of these, but again, I didn't. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm a simple guy, but. And again, to me, you can't monitor in, in what you don't measure. So, and again, I, all right, I have no life. So on Saturday night, after the game, this is what I am doing, okay? Kick off, okay? Every time we kick off, I, I, get, I get the special teams cups, okay? It's kicked, to, it's landed to where? Okay, what yard line? And then, it, I also try, is it on target? Because we're always trying to kick it down to one side or the other and have a certain landing point. Is it on target? Where is it returned to? What is, what's the kickoff return? And then what's the average? Okay, so how do we do in the kickoff cover world today? And then kickoff return, where we feel that we're returned to, return that average, okay? Say putt, kick, from, to, etc. Is there a return, return yards, or was it down, was it out of bounds, was it fair caught, etc. And uh, same with punt return, all right? So, and, and but again, if, 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 when, when I started doing this years ago, it, it became evident to me that when we punt the ball, there's been years where I can basically count on one hand the number of times it was a real return. It's 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 dialed, et cetera, whatever. Well, well, shit. Let's address what we're doing and what we're spending our time on. If that's the case, okay. Um, and, and, and at the end of the year, obviously, we'll, we'll tally it up too. All right. So that, that's how I kind of monitor and measure what we're doing and how well or, or not well we're doing and what we need to get better at. Um, and then every Monday at the start of the practice, okay, I have this, I bring this up. We obviously, we have a set of offensive goals, defensive goals, and we have very limited meeting time. So on Mondays, right before form run, we'll do some specialists, but right before form run, we have what we call the State of the Panthers address, okay? So we go right to, hey, our offensive goals this week, bam, here they are. Well, see, we're, nice job here. This isn't helping. Defensively, same thing. Special teams, the kicker, okay? Last year, our kicker was our most penalized guy on the team, okay? <coughs> Kicking the ball out of bounds. Now, you have face masks, too. He made numerous tackles, all right, because we, 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 he has a job on kick. He's not just a, a safety. He, he's going, all right. But he's the most penalized guy. And I'm like, guys, if this doesn't piss you off, what will? The, the, 
kicking the football off is the one act in the game of football when nobody is actively trying to prevent you from doing your job. That's it. Kick off. But this chucklehead's kicking it out of bounds and not giving us a chance? Really? Because we've been top 10 in whatever the stats are in the country and kick off cover. Just put the thing in bounds, give us a chance. Right? So, obviously, that, that gets charged. Okay? Now, um, okay. Kick off, return. Guys, when we say simple, it's really simple. We have return right, we have return left. And again, here's an example of my high tech. This comes right from our special teams playbook, man. Okay? Now, our defensive coach got it all. He's a whiz with the computer. He hands me this thing, and we go over in the summer. He goes, Coach, I got the book. I said, Okay. He hands it to me. Is that a no? Take it back. Too much. Get rid of it. Okay? The offensive coach, he'll, he'll type all the shit up. I do it all. Long, all right? But special teams, none of that is on now, here we are, kickoff return, man. For the last five years, okay, to me, the, 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 the overriding goal and statistic is your average starting field position. You don't control how deep they're kicking it, all right? But you can control what you're hoping to do is start your offensive possession in the best spot possible, okay? Our starting average field position in 2018 was the 37 yard line. 2019, the 37. 2000, uh, no, 17 was 37, 18, 19 was 36, 21 was the 40 yard line. This past season was the 37 yard line. I don't know about you guys, but especially if you see some of our guys on offense, I'd much rather go 60, try to have to go 60% of the field than 75% of the field, 80% of the field. All right? Now, so what what in, in it? Not this year. We had a, a, pr we had a pretty good quarterback. Now, a year ago, it wasn't we were struggling a little bit in that area, and but our kickoff return. Some teams started kicking intentionally, kicking it out of bounds on us. Okay, and then just trotting their uh, defense out. Official comes over, coach, what are you like? Huh? Re kick it. Re kick it. And it, it was a win for us. Okay, because the average starting last year, our average starting field position was the 40. We'll take every the five yards we can get. Okay, so. Um, it was one of our best offensive plays. Okay, so yeah, you, you want to try to kick it out good. Go have at it. Keep going. We're gonna keep we're gonna return it one way or another. Okay. Now guys our our, our rules and um, I'll go over these rules and then I'll just put the cutups up there and then I'll I don't have any video of um, the, the, the drills we do, but I'll, I'll explain them to you. Okay, return right, it's, it's the same on both sides. Now, here's the other thing, and you wouldn't believe how often this gets screwed up. Okay. Some people call Plymouth State the Harvard of the North, okay? You wouldn't know it based on our mathematic counting capabilities. So, all you gotta do no mind too small to be on kickoff return at Plymouth State. You don't even have to take your shoes off. You just gotta count to five. That is it, okay? We count R one through five, outside in on the right. L one through five, outside in on the left. We never count the kicker. No matter where he's lined up, if it's a if it's an offset with six guys on one side, four on the other, okay. R one through five, 
L one through five. That is it. Okay. So right tackle. Now again, assuming it's it's a decent kicker and, and we're going to get some some height and depth on the kick. All right. This isn't drawn totally to scale, but we're talking somewhere in the, you're going to drop four or five white lines, okay? So you're talking 20, 25 yards, and you're blocking in on R5. The right guard, same thing. He's blocking to his left on L5. Right guard, left guard, L4, blocking him to his left. Left tackle, L2, I'm sorry, L3, or most dangerous. Okay, that's a guy. Now, this if this was drawn to scale, this guy here should be coming more towards the uprights, the middle of the field. Okay, so he's got that inside-out leverage. Now, you, his rule is L3 or most dangerous. If L3 happens to be a guy that's hanging back, and either two or one is coming full speed, then he'll, t he'll take the, the most dangerous threat. Three, two, or one. Okay? Now, the right end over here, okay? He is blocking in on four, R4. All right? He doesn't have to get, you know, he's dropping back two, three, step, two, three uh, yard lines. He's in on four. And the angle of these blocks is correct, accurate. The right fullback, his job, he makes sure the end gets four. If the end is successful on four, he lines up two by two on the end. As, as the end starts approaching R4, the fullback, the right fullback, wants to be two yards outside and two yards behind the end. If the end finishes four, good. Look in and up for the first wrong color jersey you see. If the end doesn't finish four, you gotta help finish four. Okay? The left end, he's coming across, he is kicking out on R3. The coaching point for him here is he wants to be tight off the butt of the right end, the right fullback's block on four. You want, the, and I, the, the, the analogy I give to anybody that's out here on offense is, hey guys, we're running power. This is a full field power. This, these, the, the, the end and the fullback are the tight end, whoever blocking down. Okay. The, the end and the tap, the, the, he's the tight end blocking down. The left end, you're the fullback kicking out on power. Now, defensive guy. Uh, 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 but, uh, the left fullback, he's coming screaming across, he's out on R2. The halfback, he's he, right here, he comes inside out on R1. Okay, those are the rules. Now, there's some different uh, coaching points here. The, like I said, the end out, coming out on three. He wants to be tight to the block <coughs> in on four. The fullback coming across on two. He wants to be tight, almost shoulder to shoulder, coming across with the end. All right. And the halfback, that's a tough spot. And if anybody can give me, uh, tell me how to make it easier or better, I'm all ears. He's gonna buy this time and then come right here. So between this end, fullback, halfback, should be a, like a three-man convoy coming across to kick out. Right? But it take, this guy needs to, a feel for things. The guys back here, the returners, man. <laughs> Here it is, if it's return right, the guy on the right makes the call. You, 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 me, 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 okay? His rule is, if he has to take more than two steps to his left, you, you, you.
doesn't make sense to have this guy come over here and then come back over here. Okay? You, 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 me, me, me. Alright? The guy, assuming that this guy's catching the ball, the guy without the ball, get 10 yards in front of the guy who is fielding it, check and make sure it's fielded clean, look away. If we got return right, from right where you are, you look up to your left, from right where you are, from inside out, and you block, if there's a, any sort of threat at all, the first wrong colored jersey, all right? If, if there is none, then you lead them through to where the intersection of the blocks should be, all right? Now, if it's a shorter kick and it's gonna land in front of the halfback, here's where it really gets dicey for the Panthers, okay? You, 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 me, me, me. This guy got a name, okay? Like uh, last year, Caffrey. Hey, Caffrey, 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 because he's looking at what now? We teach them all. You watch the ball leave the tee. You want to know what kind of height and width this ball has, okay? But. Sometimes they're really anxious to get to where they're going on their block, so he, he could be taking so, hey, Caffrey, Caffrey, Caffrey. Now, these two selfish pricks back here, here's what we, okay, hey guys, he's doing your job. It's now time for you to do his job. What's his job? You ask this guy, uh, uh, six? No, dumbass, we only count the five. Okay. It's R1 on the side of the return. If someone's doing your job, you gotta do someone's job. Right? Okay, now. So these these, like I said, they, they just want to get their hands on the ball and go. Alright? But they gotta know. And then we've had some pretty decent returns by this guy. A few years ago, a championship game, this cat took it 57 yards. Right? And the other guy, he did, it was a return left. This guy got in front of him and got number one, got number one's way. Now, these two aren't going to be laying anybody out. They're going to get in somebody's way, okay? As long as they're not, we got guys that will run the other way too, all right? But uh, now, with the returners, okay? Here's part of the deal with them. And, and the thing that I really stress and, and, and get anal about. You gotta catch the ball the proper way. Now you want to be behind it, and if it's going wide at all, you want to be a little outside. You get it, and I'll show you on the cups. We got good, bad, and ugly. You don't want to catch it going backwards. You don't want to catch it going sideways. All right, you don't get. You gotta know where the goal line is. You gotta know where the sideline is. Now we work all that during the week. We'll, they're an individual, and you know, we'll throw them balls in all different spots, etc. We'll have it too where it's right on the sideline and it's slowing down where they gotta get their feet out of bounds, reach in and, and pick it up. Because that's an out of bounds kick. Okay, it's a penalty. Right? So, but you gotta catch it. Okay, nose on the ball, elbows in, feet staggered, behind it. So that as soon there's no wasted motion when you catch it. Boom, you look it in, you tuck it away and you're getting upfield. You're not being, you're not drifting this way, that way, et cetera. All right. Now, when the guy catches the ball, he's gotta get vertical for a minimum of five yards, okay? Five yards, you get vertical, and if the ball, on return right, if the ball is kicked to our right and it's a nice smooth catch and operation, you get vertical until something takes you off of that track. Again, it's the same as what we teach your tailback run power. You stay vertical until something takes you off of that track. Okay? And, and, and we had two guys in 2020, uh, 21. We had a, a guy who fast, man, fast. He, if, if you put him on a Plymouth State track team, he'd be faster backwards than anybody. We had an all American hurdler on the team. Okay? He's faster backwards than the other guy. But, wasn't an instinctual guy, et cetera, okay? And it took him, he only had to, 
really produced back there as a senior. It took him a so, hey, I gotta get vertical. I can't just go with like he used his outrunning everybody. Those guys are working their ass off up front for you. Take advantage of it. You gotta help set these blocks up. Okay. If this guy gets it, it all depends how wide he is. But again, if he's catching it on the hash or inside on a return, right? You get vert now you get vertical for five and then head over. Well, and that's all being done to help set up the leverage of these blocks. Now, if that ball's kicked wider than the hash or outside by the numbers, then that's a judgment call for this guy. <coughs> hey, do I, can I, even, do I even have a chance to get over there, or do I just gotta get what I can get? When the ball's kicked wide away from where the return's called, this guy, okay, we got a return right going, the ball's being caught somewhere, he's gotta bust his ass over here, and the wider the ball goes away from the return, the more time the guy without the ball has to spend looking for wrong colored jerseys because they're that much closer to us where we're catching the ball. Okay, now, any questions on any of that? Yep. Coach, what if their kickoff is compressed? Do you change it and go back? Okay, no, we count them. Now, we got guys that, that will stack and loop and all that. No. We'll try to decipher that as best we can during the, you know, breaking down the film. Hey, 37 is going to be coming, you know, here. 25 is going to be turning it up or whatever. So we'll give them, and they're, you take your count and you stick with it. We are not smart enough. We are not athletic enough to adjust it on their own. Because that then, the last thing you want is some guy running free. So you, it might not be the greatest leverage after they stack and all and or spread out, but at least you should technically have a body on a body. Yeah. So they must obviously recognize yeah, if they're, if they're, they go with him. They go with him. Yeah, if, if he's number one, if he's my guy, I got R4, when they line up, hey, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the right end, hey, I'm telling the tackle, 56 is four. I got it. 56 is mine. That's five. Okay, so I ain't got and When I'm standing back there in practice, I always stand back here. Coach Z's always over here. I'm going to talk to each other. Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Okay. You got to talk uh, through what you, your teacher returned by the sideline. You mentioned it quickly. Yeah. You can read it and review that one more time. When it is speed out or you know, the ball going when it's close to the sideline. Yeah, if this ball is right here, right along the edge of the sideline, and it's slowing down, and, the, and I, I don't know if it's going out of bounds or not, okay? If I put my foot out of bounds and I reach back into the field of play and pick the ball up, that's a penalty on the kicking team. That's a kick out of bounds. In the both feet. Yeah. I think that it only has to be one, I think. But I tell them you get both up because I don't want to do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I forget who it was. This, this, uh, I think it might have been TCU. I went home one Saturday night, and they were playing a late game, and I, I flipped it on, and I saw them do it. Uh, hey, somebody else works on that, too. I'm not done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on these rules or, or techniques? Or, okay. Now, guys, like I say, I'm a firm believer. It's not who's better. It's who's less bad. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to go right here now. Here's the other thing I do every Saturday night. I chart our success rate by position. Okay? On return right, the right tackle was two for three. The right guard was uh, one for three. The left guard was 0 for three, etc. So I'll tally that and chart that. Now, it's not who's better. Now, we were number eight or number 11 in the country. Right here, this year, our right tackle on kickoff return was f successful on his block 40% of the time. The right guard, 58% of the time. This is on the season. The left guard, 58%. The left tackle, 60%. Both of these ends were successful 40% of the time. Okay? The fullbacks right here, 
This cat was successful 33% of the time. This guy was successful 40% of the time. This chowder head was successful 19% of the time. The guy without the ball had a 46% success rate. But you're going to see some creases. Okay? So, again, <laughs> it's not who's better. It's it. Now, we got to get better and figure out how we can improve those. All right? But something's going right. Okay? So, here we are. We got return right. Okay? Now, again, like I said, you're going to see good, bad, and ugly here. Like ugly, right here. Now, here's another one of my pet peeves, guys. A guy fixing his face mask in the middle of the play. We tighten up guys' helmets every Friday. They, they got to get, okay. And then we got our center last, last time, the worst. Really? Okay. So, here he is. Here's our right end. In one, two, three, four. He's looking for four. He's, he's got the, okay, there we go. Here's the right fullback. Bam. Two by two. Not right. Close. But you got the idea. He makes sure that block is secure. This guy, if it's not, he finishes the block. What he should do here is just come in there, kind of like an old lineman on a double team. Toss him across his face so he can finish and then lead, look, lead in and look in and out. Okay? Now, his right, our right tackle, not good. R5, not good. Okay? Well, misjudge the timing, the, the, the speed and the depth of this guy. What we want when we work these fits every Monday, we want a guy, a, a hand in the, if I'm, I'm coming in here to fit the guy here on return right, I want a hand in his belly button, a hand on his bicep, my nose in his rib cage, my feet right outside of his, and run. Okay, now, does it always work right? No. But we'll actually, every Monday, hey, get fit, run them, step back a couple steps, boom, step to the fit, and then we'll have them drop whatever, four up lines, five lines, and step to the fit, okay? Not exciting, not glamorous, but the only way you can get good at it. Not right here. This is Avery. Now, now these guys up front, these are all, you know, number eight's a wide receiver, okay? 19, receiver. They, they should be good because they, they need to start more. But, you know, soft as puppy should okay. So right here now. So here comes, we're in on four or five. This is not right here. Look at the full strides. They're full speed coming out on three, two, and one. Okay, bam. Coming tight off of the block in on four. Okay, there it is. Okay, now honestly, guys, Look at this. My fat ass might score running through there. Okay? But it's got to time out right. Now, right here. That's a pretty good job catching that thing. Feet staggered, looking it in, and boom, getting vertical. This guy got to go. He's too close. He, he should be further in front of him. He's only like five yards in front of him. He needs to be eight to ten in front. Okay? Because we go, unless it's a shorter kick, and we have to chop it down and hesitate a little bit. When he catches that thing, you're zero to 60 right now on a nice deep kick like this. Boom, look at this. Look at, look at, look at that. Really? Okay. <clears throat> Coach, what's the, the right end? Is this is for, for turn right. The right end is rule the right fullback. Right end. Just these two here. Yeah. In on four. In on four. Yeah. He hit, he's in on four, yep. he checks and makes sure if he's got four taken care of, yep. then he looks in and out. Okay. Now, here's a short kick. This thing's landing on the 22 yard line. So, what I tell these guys, we got return left going. Landing on the left hash, perfect. But it's landing on the 22. It's got to time out. He's got to give time for these guys to get across here. So in this instance here, I always tell, hey, choke it down a little bit. Choke it down a little bit. 
And once you see your buddies cross your face, now hit it, hit it full speed. Okay? Like, like, like it's a bad news bears. Alright? 
So we would, we would catch it, trying to catch it going backwards. Now they had been kicking it short, we moved a lot, my fault. And then they blew it, so now this knucklehead, he goes and chases it in the end zone and decides, hey, let me bring it up from halfway. Okay. But you got to know the rules. All right. If you don't have possession of it, you, you can dump it. busting his ass to go block our one. Just like if this guy, we had a nice deep catch, now, instead of the guy without the ball getting in front, this guy stays behind, makes sure that it's, it's fielded cleanly, and then he looks away. Okay. And we, uh, I, like, we don't have a real good kicker, so we get plenty of experience during the week fielding bad kicks. Not right here. You can see him choking this down a little bit and letting the guy get in front of him and all. All right. So, yeah, now it's a nice hard line drive with a nice bounce. Boom. Vertical, vertical. Boom, boom. Stay vertical until something takes you off of it. Right here. Because, but now, it took three years for this guy to figure this out. And normally he would have taken this, seen this space right here, and just gone here. No, vertical, 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 vertical. Boom, That's, there, there it is. Okay? And again, nobody was catching him. Not uh, bullshit. Okay, so here, we muff this one, right? We muff this. There's timing involved. See the crease? Maybe if we were feeling that clean and got vertical, we'd have a chance. Right, now, I think we've same team, same, return left. We fired the last guy, bring him in. That's, that, that should be a you, you, you call. He had to go more than two steps. Now, luckily, we had a lot of that ball was a nice high kick. We had time, but <coughs> no, vertical, 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 vertical. Stay there, okay? Same exact team, kick it off. You feel the clean, you got a chance. Okay? No, no, no. Get behind it. Get behind, look at this, look at this, look at this. No, no, right here. For, you're you're inside the, the uprights. Get vertical. Wrong, wrong. Look, if we got vertical, look, look. I mean, really? Simple shit. Okay, so this team here, they did kick from this formation sometimes. We say, hey, whatever it was this time. This guy's one, two, three, four, five. You know, we charted it when they kicked from that formation. Because they all got jobs to do too. And you can only do them well from so many places. Okay. Now again, watch the ball. Not a very deep kick. You gotta know how deep and how wide it is. Now you look at look, he catches this on the hash on the 15. He's on the, basically on the 25, 26. He's a step outside the hash. Good. Get vertical. Get vertical. Okay. But now, hey, getting him to catch that thing was an ordeal for three years. Okay. 
Bam, right there, perfect. Balls on the 10 on the hash. Time it out, good leverage. Vertical, 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 boom. Now, we whiff here, we whiff, but go full speed. Problem right here is these two guys coming across are too deep. They gave them that run through lane. Again, it's like a fullback coming to kick out on power right here. You want that inside out track, okay? All right, I think they're getting ready to cut me off. Any questions on any of this stuff? Yeah. If you were to break that down to practice it, that return right there, what would be just real quick how you break down? Would you do the line together? Okay, yeah, we take, we'll take the, the three, return right. We'll take the right guard, left guard, left tackle. They all got single blocks. So they're working those single blocks by themselves with a coach, fit, step to the fit, drop and get to the fit, okay? And I'm sorry, the front four, all those single blocks. Then I have the middle guys. So I'll have, the, I'll have a four bags, guys with bags coming down. We turn right, and in full, okay. We're in on four. You got in bags, come on. Three, bags have three, two, one, okay? And then again, we won't even have the, 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 the returners are back there catching all different balls, different angles, etc. So that's how, you know, and then we'll do that one day and then we'll go watch the next day. Would the halfback be with the returners? No, he'll be with the guys, that have the fullbacks. Yeah, because he's, he's got to fit off of those guys coming across on three and two. Yeah. Anything else? Guys, if you want any of this, you're more than welcome to it. Just let me know. Call me, email me, whatever. All right.